So, uh, you're coming to Slovakia, you're staying here? Uh, just for a couple of weeks. And then you go back? Yes, I will go to Ukraine, come back to home. All the people are scary about the um, uh, war in our uh, country. In Uzhgorod, it's, it, it's okay situation. It's very, very pro big problem in uh, Kharkiv, Kiev, uh, in Donetsk, Luhansk. It's very big problem, yeah. How can Slovakia help Ukraine? Uh, Slovakia helps uh, us al already by uh, arm uh, and, of course, uh, humanitary a lot. Um, so uh, we just need to uh, continue this uh, help. What were your experiences first when you entered Slovakia? <laughs> I don't know how to answer. <laughs> Um, we were in safe, so <laughs> everything is good. So now the situation is stabilized. It's around 3,000 people going to Ukraine and coming back from Ukraine. I mean, fleeing war Ukraine to Slovakia. So at the moment it's very balanced. Most people are asking for, uh, they need help with uh, transportation, they need help with communication, how to contact their family members back in Ukraine, how to get in touch with them. Uh, they're asking for um, shelter, they're asking for food, and also a lot of legal assistance and assist assistance in general. What were your experiences? How could people help to people in Ukraine? Uh, no, it was, uh, there's a lot of needs, of course, uh, humanitarian needs, development needs. Uh, but there's a lot of funding coming in, so I think agencies and the government are working together to, uh, to provide support to the affected populations. So I think uh, there are needs, but people are working hard for it. They need the most. Well, how can you help them with? Of course, uh, they need shelters, they need food, they need information on, on what's going on. Um, and if they need also protection and mental health for some of them. You and I and you, we, we must help. And we must... We must go on, I, I think so.